JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe. Back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, we're gonna talk about relocating for a job position, right? So people have been telling me like, hey man, I live in the middle of nowhere. I live in, you know, Wisconsin. I live in Kansas. I live in Omaha, whatever, right? They're like, hey, we want to be able to move to a bigger city. We want to be able to move to New York, San Francisco, LA, uh, Seattle, one of the big tech cities, right? So what's my advice to that? My advice is, Number one, plan out exactly, you know, how you're going to move over there. Meaning, are you going to take all, all of your things or are you just leaving with a suitcase, you know? Because depending on what you want to take, that's how much it's going to cost you. Hopefully, you guys have a laptop and you could be more mobile because having a, a desktop and walking around with an iMac is going to be difficult, you know what I mean? So... I would say try to get yourself something that's more mobile, something that, you know, you know, you could just say, hey, if I have to rent a, a room somewhere in another city for a couple of months, I'll be fine because I could still code at home. I could still work and do, do everything that I need to do off my laptop, right? Preferably, uh, it has to be a, a Mac. Well, it doesn't have to be, but trust me, guys, get a Mac. <laughs> Stop playing with yourself. Yeah, so definitely get a Mac. Uh, what else? Also, plan out, meaning how long you're going to be there. So, like, let's say an example. If you say, hey, I'm going to move to San Francisco, and I know San Francisco is super expensive. Like, let's say you're going to move over there. You're going to rent a room with roommates, which I, I definitely will say that would be the best way because if you're moving to a, a city, and you don't have a job, there's really no point of you renting out an apartment or renting out a house unless you know you have a job secure, you know? So you could go and move in with a couple of roommates for like you know, three to six months until you get yourself situated. And then from there, then you start looking for an apartment. Don't start looking for apartments before you move in there because you never know if things might go sour. For example, let's say an example, you, you're getting hired by a company. So before you even get there, they're hiring you, right? And they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna hire you. We, we're gonna bring you into the team. Now, you're working at the company for two months and then you realize like, hey, I fucking hate this company. But now I have an apartment, I have a, a fucking car, I have a whole bunch of shit that I gotta pay. So now you're stuck to that job because of necessity. Now, best thing to do is to just be mobile. Meaning, at any moment, if you go to that job and you don't like it, you could just leave and you say, hey, I just wanna quit this job, you could quit the job. You know, so to do that, you gotta make sure you have enough money in the bank account where you can say, hey, if I don't wanna stay here and I wanna just start looking for another job, it's gonna take me a month it's gonna take me two months I have enough money to you know to last me so the best way is just rent a room guys I'm telling you you know stop trying to act bougie stop trying to act like you got money out here it's not about that it's about just you know being smart and if you know damn well that you know that job you're not 100% sure if you're gonna love it then Put yourself in a good situation where you could say, hey, I have money to, to basically be able to quit the job. Don't depend on the job. The job's supposed to depend on you. It's that simple, guys. But yeah, man. <laughs> you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. And yeah, man. Subscribe to the kit. Make sure you, you know, you show me some love. The Patreon is right there in the, in the description. You know, donate a dollar. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube has me starving. I can't eat because of YouTube. And, <laughs> and yeah, man, make sure you subscribe to the kid. And by the way, man, there's the courses, man. I have courses right there on the description. They're not my courses. I'm not selling my courses. I'm not promoting my courses. You know what I mean? So 
what I'm saying with that, when I say, hey, I'm not promoting my courses, what I'm saying is, hey, those courses made me into a developer, um, and yeah, like, uh, those are courses that I recommend. Same way how somebody will come in and, and recommend you a book and will tell you, hey, man, I, I took this book and this book changed my life. This course has changed my fucking life, guys. This course has got me in here uh, feeling good, got me here being able to take care of my family, got me here to, you know, live a good life and enjoy where I'm at. And it's all because of, of courses like, you know, React, uh, React and Redux from Stephen Greider, you know, uh, courses like the Colt Steel, which taught me Node.js, and not only Node.js, but gave me uh, a look into the, you know, the back end even more than what I knew, because I knew PHP, but I kind of didn't know everything, because I usually use frameworks, but watch watching that course actually just, like, you know, help me out so much. So I definitely recommend it, guys. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.